Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you the new Google Drive integration with Schoology. Uh, and, and most of this is going to come from our assignments feature within Schoology. Um, so here I am in my course and I'm going to go to Add Materials and then Add Assignment. And for the most part everything stays the same. We've got to give it a title. And we can type our directions in here. We have all of our options where we can add files, links, resources from within Schoology, audio, video, uh, and then external tools. Um, but this one is new right here, this Assign from App. And you'll see Google Drive Assignments. And the very first time you do this, you're going to go through a couple of steps to set it up. Um, because I've already been playing with it, it's going to pop up for me. But what I do is I open that up, and then it pulls me into my Google Drive account. And from here, I can you know, I can scroll around and find the document that I'm looking for. I can use the search function up here. I can look for something that's been shared with me. The file that I want is this one right here, this test new Schoology integration with Google Drive. Um, I can view it on the right, or if I just click on it, you'll see that it highlights it, and then I can click Attach. So far, you can only add one file at a time. Uh, that might change as we move forward, uh, but right now this is, this is the only file that I can add to it. I can always come back here and add links, um, and I can pull in resources that way, but this one is the one that I want students working with the most, so I'm going to add that through this Assign from App feature. I can set my due date and my grading category, and then how I'm going to score it, and then I can create, and you'll see it pop up here for me, and when I open this, you're going to notice it's a completely updated view. So this is the direction that Schoology is heading. Um, you're going to see kind of a more streamlined, more clean view of your assignments first. And then as you move forward uh, throughout the year, we might see other parts of Schoology kind of take on this view. I can look at my in progress. So here are the two students in my course. And right now I can see that these students have not opened this assignment yet. And then I can view submissions. Okay, so I'm going to jump over to the student view right now so that we can take a look at how this shows up for our students. All right, so here's the student view, and I'm going to refresh this to get the assignment to pop up. Um, and here it is. All I have to do is click on that. And here's the assignment. All of the directions would show up here, but I'm going to click over to my document. And now as a student, I have the document right here within Schoology. So no longer do I have to go out to Google Drive to be able to pull that in. Uh, I'm going to be able to edit this and I'm going to show you here in just a second how it looks for both the student and the teacher, but I have full access to this document right here within Schoology. Anything I can do in Google Drive as I edit this document I could do right here within Schoology. I've got my full toolbars, everything that I had access to before I can pull in right here. So I'm going to show you how this looks for both the teacher and the student. So now when I come over to in progress and I go to my middle school student, here's that document. So as the teacher, I have access to a live view of this. So if students are working on an assignment, I can jump right into it. On the right hand side, I'm going to start filling in my responses. And you'll see it updates live for the teacher. As a teacher, I can make edits right here within the document. I can leave comments. and those will pop up live for the student. All right, so now I'm all done. And as a student, I'm going to submit. And now let's jump over to the teacher view and take a look at how we grade. So we've added a rubric to this one. So up here in the top right-hand corner, you'll see these four boxes. Uh, that's the symbol for the rubric. And right now, it's got nothing out of eight. So I'm going to go in and, and there's an updated rubric view as well. So on the right hand side, you can scroll through the different pieces of your rubric. 
So here's the first one. Uh, we'll give them four out of four, four out of four, they did a great job, and we can save it. Now back on the student page, I can see right here the rating that I got on that assignment. If I need to, I can jump over to my drive as a student and go into Shared With Me, and here is the assignment that I was working on. You'll notice it says view only. Once an assignment is submitted, the student has uh, view privileges only. On the teacher side in Google Drive, I now have a folder called uh, Schoology Google Drive Assignments. And you'll get different courses as you create them in here. I can open up and there is the assignment that was submitted by the student. You're the owner of the document, so you can always give students uh, access back to that. See how it says shared with that test student? I can change those settings for them. So that's a new integration with Google Drive and Schoology. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, and I'll be more than happy to get in touch with you and help you through them. Thanks.